Top 5 Low Content Book Niches for Amazon KDP Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the top 5 book niches that you can start publishing in this quarter of 2021. So book niches vary with time and depending on the time of the year, there are going to be different book niches. For example, at the start of the year, usually Valentine's Day is the most popular holiday and a lot of books regarding that are published. But for now, I'm going to share with you guys the top five new niches that I have found. So let's get into it. First off is Easter activity books. So we're going to search for Easter activity book. And you guys can see over here that there are a bunch of books for Easter activities. And there are over 5,000 results. Now, even though there are 5,000 results, it's still relatively less. And in other book categories, there are usually over 10,000 results. So 5,000 is decent competition. And you can see these books. So these workbooks have, you know, cutting and pasting. They're very easy to create. I think it would take a maximum of two days to create any book like, uh, like this. So it just has a few images and it's gonna ask what pattern should come next and like that it's like a children's activity book but it's easter themed so it's gonna sell out a lot more around the holidays and you can see the rest are the same as well and if you want to take a look at their profits now this book has so has over 250 reviews this has 150 reviews so there's decent competition and decent sales but it's not too much that if you enter the market you're not going to be able to uh, stand out from the competition you can see this is a joke book that is related to easter so we're going to take a look inside and see what kind of content they really are creating now, it's just some very, you know, basic jokes that you can find on Google or any website by searching them. Or you can just create your own little lame kind of puns and stuff for ki for children to laugh at. Now, if you want to see the profits that these books are making, we're actually going to go into their product details. And somewhere around here, you're going to find the ASIN number and you're going to copy that. So we're just going to keep on looking. Now on Helium 10, you can go to the tools and you can take a look at the black box tool. Now the black box tool will allow you to find competition, products, keywords. You can find the competition in a certain niche. You can find the product targeting and whatnot. So it's going to allow you a lot of uh, insight on what this product is generating and what kind of income they are creating so i copied the asin number and pasted it over here and you can see over here we're getting a general estimate so this book has a monthly sale of over 70 books and they're making a monthly revenue of over 800 dollars and that's a lot for only 96 books and if you scroll down you can see in the same product category we have 200 over 200 sales and 600 dollars in profit and this book is making over 2,000 sales and they're generating over fourteen thousand dollars in revenue so that's a lot of money and don't be confused because revenue is not profit obviously they're gonna cut some costs they're gonna they're gonna pay the amazon publishing cost they're gonna have some other costs but still a revenue of over $14,000 is more than enough to say that this category is generating a lot of profit. Now, moving on to our second product niche is actually Mother's Day. So if we search for Mother's Day, we're going to search for Mother's Day book. And that also has a lot of activity books. It has some journaling books for children and their moms. Now you can see there are a bunch of different types of books for this, but you can see that mom, I want to hear your story. And this is like a journaling book. And below that you have a, you know, some of them are written books that are ghost written or uh, just general novels or anything like that. But you want to take a look at children's book to be specific or something that is a journaling book. So love mom and me so this is like a journal book a guided journal book and i'm going to show you guys the interior of this book because this is a very easy to create idea 
I'm just gonna have a few typed up pages and then just a journaling activity for both mother and daughter so this is just a few typed up pages and then they have a um, empty journaling catalog that's it so you're just going to type out like maybe five six pages and after that you're just going to have empty pages for the journaling section of the book and let's copy the asin number of this book and put it in the helium 10 black box to see what kind of sales they are generating we're going to copy this we're going to go into our black box and I've, I'm searching on competitors and first usually you can search for products and keywords but right now we're going to look take a look at our competitors to see what kind of sales they are getting to get an estimate of our potential sales. Now you can see monthly revenue for these kinds of books is over $19,000 and they've sold over 2,400 units. This book also, they have a revenue of 10,000 and it's only increasing. So you can see their sales over the year, over the last 90 days and their price trend over the last 90 days as well. Overall, their price trend is increasing and their sales are increasing. And the revenue for Mother's Day books is even more than the revenue for Easter books. Now, another category that we're going to take a look at now, our third category, are Father's Day books. Well, just as Mother's Day is a very popular holiday, Father's Day is just as popular. And you can see Your Dad, a little book for fathers and the people who love them. Now, if we take a look at this book, we're going to look at the inside. And this is just like a storybook with a lot of animations and cute cartoons and you can have like a tiny little story and then just you know some animals with parents just to replicate or give you know that whole warm and wholesome feeling and that's just the kind of feeling that you want to convey via your book may it be a journaling book a story book a coloring book dad i wrote a book about you the thing about fathers you know stuff like this so we're gonna take a look at the interior of this book as well and this is just written by the perspective of a child so you're just gonna add this pa these pages like you are good at or you're the de best dad because and then you're just gonna leave some empty lines for children to fill out and this is actually one of the best ideas I've seen so far it's very easy to create and easy to publish because you don't have to do a lot of design or anything like that and it's aimed at children so it's going to be something that is not not too particular about um, creativity or thing. you don't need to create something that is too um, high end or too professional now we're going to take a look at the sales that this book is generating so we're going to copy their asi number and we're going to put it in our helium 10 black box like so and now these books are also generating revenues of over eight hundred dollars fifty two thousand dollars so that's a lot of money fifteen hundred dollars and their monthly sales are also increasing and their prices are somewhere between six to like twenty dollars depending on the book and the type of content that is present within the book now i'm going to mainly focus on the product niches so we have two leftover niches first off we have Arbor Day books. Now, you might have never heard of Arbor Day, but it's a environmentalist day and it's for people that support the environment and are working for the protection of the environment. You can see that these books also have a lot of reviews, but there's not a lot of competition. There's only 2000 results. So that is something that is very good for a person that is about to create a book in that niche because sales are good and people are buying these books they do generate quite a lot of revenue and still they have less results so there's less competition and our final product category is wedding planners now wedding planners have been around for a while and wedding planners are changed every year so a wedding planner for 2021 is something that is easy to create that is going to be not too difficult to design it's not going to be anything out of the world and almost all wedding planners do look alike so you can just take a look at a few wedding planners and get a good estimate of what kind of planner you should design and these have the most amount of sales you can see 
This book has over 41,000 reviews, so you can just imagine the amount of sales that it garnered. This one has 3,500 reviews. This one has over 600, 1,300, 1,100. So you can see that a lot of people are buying these books. And these are just very easy to create on Amazon KDP as well. You don't have to worry about anything that is, you know, you're going to have to customize it or anything. A lot of wedding planners are just empty boxes and with the categories and headings and nothing inside. So you won't have to do any of the writing or anything. You're just going to have to create a few empty fields and that's around it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to create some books in these very lucrative niches and I'll catch you guys in the next video.